so apparently I have retired from being a teacher and a content creator and I've turned into a doctor because I'm over here having to check a bunch of tad bulb asses to see which one is red so I know it's the freaking shiny. Come on Pokemon Company, I know y'all like to troll and all but like y'all did not have to make Jotaro, <laughs> Jotaro, oh god, Jotaro, come on man, wait, oh wait actually no, Giorno. My bad, Giorno. What are you doing, man? Come on, what are, what are you doing, bro? But yeah, Pokemon Company, y'all ain't have to make this extremely freaking hard to find a dang shiny Pokemon. Like, you could've just had little sparkles floating around. Why do I gotta go around checking a bunch of tad bulb asses? This, this is, this is like, this is just insane. Okay, you got a red one? No, no, no red ones. Dude, none of them have a freaking red one. And all I've been collecting this entire time from these tad bulbs is freaking tad bulb boogers. That's all I've been getting is about the tad bulb boogers. I've been doing this for the past basically five minutes trying to find a freaking shiny. Say Titan, I really do not like you at all, but it also goes into my thing of ice type Pokemon just look extremely bland. And I hate it because ice is one of my favorite elements to use in basically all games that allow you to use elements. It's either ice or wind. It's always one of the two. And I hate the fact that Ice Pokemon just looks so, so bland most of the time. Alright, you a freaking red one over there? No. 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 Oh my gosh, I just want to get a shiny belly bolt, dude. Come on, man. Now, you over there. But yeah, like, Ice type Pokemon, they just... Like, there's probably, in my opinion, at least three to four good shiny like good ice type looking pokemon i also forgot to introduce the app or welcome y'all back welcome back everybody hope y'all have been enjoying the let's play if you have like subscribe notifications all that freaking good stuff but yeah ice type pokemon they just they never look cool you know also by the way i did um go and do a bunch of grinding i went and switched some pokemon's names around obviously we have giorno uh, I switched it from Jotaro to Giorno because it looks more like Giorno. We have Bele Bele because you know Bele Boats. We got Amy Rose for Tinkaton because it looks just like freaking Amy Rose. Got the pink hair and the big old hammer. We got Jika for King Gambit. Uh, Jika is from Hell's Paradise. It's a samurai. We have Cookie for Backscalibur because I feel like Backscalibur would want to be called Cookie. Also, the back uh, fin looking thing kind of looks like cookies and cream ice cream. So, yeah. Like, like the color coating. And then we have Harpy's Tree because Arbolo... Ar Arbolova reminds me of like like, like the way it kind of like stands. It reminds me of like the harpy ladies from um, from Yu-Gi-Oh, like with the way they stand, you know. And they have like Harpy's pet and all that stuff. You have the Harpy's brothers, so you know, might as well just add Harpy's tree. I was gonna say har Harpy's olives, but it was too long. Okay, one of y'all gotta have a red butt. Come on, red butt, red butt. No, 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 not any one of y'all. Come on, for real. I hate the fact that you can't zoom in anymore either. Like, I, I, I guess there's, like, there's no real weapon to give us <laughs> that wouldn't be, like, you know, just, that, that wouldn't make any sense. I mean, I guess you could have given us, like, a freaking, a, um, what the hell is it called? Binoculars. You could have given us binoculars. <sighs> okay, I'm going to try a little bit longer, and then I'm just going to go take on this freaking Arvin fight. I feel like we're good enough for the Arvin fight now, because we're damn near all level 60, so... We should be good. I just want to go around and, you know, try to at least get one shiny Pokemon that I actually want. Because the other two that I got, plus I did also find a Stunky while I was uh, going out catching a bunch of freaking Pokemon. Um, eh, I don't, I'm not a fan of Corvusquire the, the, and Corviknight's shiny. Like, Corvusquire looks cool as a shiny. Corviknight just looks kind of boring as a shiny version. Uh, I wish they would have actually switched up from the gray. Um, Stunky, not really a fan of Stunky Shiny at all, to be honest. It looks really bad. I also do not understand, and I, I, I guess, okay, I don't understand why the hell does Skunk Tank learn Explosion? What were you doing? Just get up. Like, why does, you couldn't do this? This was that hard? Oh. <laughs> okay, you know what? <laughs> Never mind, man. Hey, my bad, Jorno. Maybe this is actually kind of hard. <laughs> <laughs> cried on how are you a big ass dinosaur looking thing and you can't even climb up stuff oh gosh but you can do that cried on you are almost useless i swear um what was i talking about i just i just freaking blanked on what the heck i was talking about damn just like that my memory 
just went to shit. I was talking about the Harpy ladies after that. I said the Ice Side Pokemon, Arvin. Nope. <laughs> I'll look back at editing and know what I was talking about. I, I, I guess I'm not going to know now. <laughs> Well, that freaking so oh, it's gonna take an explosion. It's gonna take it's gonna take an explosion. Yeah, I don't get why it learns explosion. I I guess I would have to assume because it has an explosive ass and it, you know, like freaking um, it really stinks <laughs> when a skunk uh, does like its little um, uh, spraying thing. All right, you know what? Screw you guys. I'm out of here. Screw this. <laughs> Stood here for long enough. Screw you, Ted Bulb. I just wanted a shiny belly boat. All right, um, finally, remember, finally remembered not to talk to the freaking cutscreens. Also, that train was really freaking loud, and I don't know if it was being picked up. I'm assuming it wasn't, but I just figured I might as well just, uh, just, you know, transition back over here. All right, come on, Arvin. This time, I feel like we're going to be able to beat him. Our team's a higher level. We're still not at the highest level he is, which is not good. But we are higher level, and usually in Pokemon games, you don't have to match the level. You just got to be at least uh, close enough to it, so it shouldn't be that hard. I do think, though, um, ever since Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, and I don't really have a way to verify this because the next game after it was Legends Arceus, and there was no like EVs and stuff. I don't think there was EVs and stuff like that in that game, but I think since then... Um, all the like, like I think like main trainers like uh, like an Arvin, eventually Nomona, the probably the champion for this game, um, probably even Casio. I'm assuming that they all have like max EV and IVs, uh, just to make their fights a bit harder. I don't know though because I can't obviously. I, I don't know. I don't know. I I I know that they had them with Cynthia. I don't know if they would have them with more trainers, but it is weird that Mobile Stiff is faster. Um. Not Mobile Stiff, uh, Scovelin. Wait, is it Scovelin? Yeah, Scovelin's faster than freaking, uh, Giorno. That, that, that doesn't really make much sense to me. Are we faster than Greedent? Okay, we are faster than Greedent. I was about to say, we're not faster than this freaking, uh, Disney character. Come on, man. It, it, this would be insane. Okay, so he's likely gonna switch into Toadstool. I should have freaking started off with King Gambit. I forgot that I gave, uh, Jika freaking, um, was it Jika? I think I gave Jika, uh, yeah, Stealth Rock. I was going to start off with it to freaking do some damage to his team. Um, all right. I think probably going in with Cookie is the best option here. It is, like, our team has one real, like, one big weakness, and it's fire types. We, a lot of Pokemon, I mean, Cookie has ice typing, so at least it, like, it, it's already affected by it. Thankfully, it can't get burned, and it does power up off of it, but it still gets affected by it, so it sucks. Um, uh, Jika and Amy Rose. I, why not put Amy Rose? I should just put Amy. Um, Amy both get affected by fire typings. Garganical, that's that rock thing. Um, I'm going to go with... Ooh, it might have a ground type, though, an earthquake. Uh, it might have earth power, yeah. Um... It has a really high defense. I did take off Aqua Step. I don't know if that was the greatest decision, but I did take it off because Liquidation is a bit more powerful. I might switch it back though if that wasn't a great decision. Um, hmm. I'm thinking it might go with Giorno for this one. I think it might be the better option, but I mean, Jika is really strong too. But I think I want to save him just in case uh, anyone does faint. We can use his, he, we can use his, um, his ability to get a lot stronger. I mean, obviously, Either way, we could do it, but if he loses to our Garganical, we're going to be basically screwed. Um, I still did say that we're going to probably swap out some Pokemon for those uh, prehistoric forms, because I definitely want to catch some of them if we're able to get to that today. Um, I think Petal Dance might just be the best move here. You're fast. See, this is why I want to get Stealth Rock. How the hell is Garganical? It's a rock. How is it faster than a tree? Like, come on, man. Come on. Come on, Pokemon Company. Please explain that to me. Nice! Oh, that is perfect. Okay, what's it gonna use next? Scovelin. Ooh. Um, this is what we're gonna have a real hard time at. Okay. It boosts the attack stat when the Pokemon is hit by a fire type move. So if we are able to last, if we're able to last, we should actually defeat 
Um, we should defeat this and get a raid attack to where we can keep Cookie in. It's probably not gonna be faster than anything else he sends out. Um, but at least we'll be able to keep him in, take like an extra hit. Maybe if he can get off a hit, it'll be perfect that, that we're able to get off a hit. Nice. Uh, but she didn't finish it though. Why is Fire Blast never missing? Okay, nice. That actually didn't do as bad of damage as I thought it was gonna do. We probably could finish it off now with a uh, Dragon Claw. Wait, was it halfway? Was it more than halfway? Yeah, I, I would assume we could finish it off with Dragon Claw. I don't wanna use Ice Fang because it's not 100% accurate, so I don't even wanna risk it. And then I'm just gonna go with Glaive Rush. I'm gonna go with it, we're probably gonna lose anyway, so there's no real point in keeping it in. Um. Well, you know what, though? Now, back to 112. We're back at least half health. Um, Cloyster is a water type. Water and ice. Oh, crap. I forgot we're dragon typing. That actually will hurt us a little bit. Okay, we're going to be faster. I think we could take one hit, to be honest. I think we can. One ice type hit? Liquidation is not going to faint us. Yeah, no, no, no way. No way. I actually could have used dragon dance, to be honest. Um... That, that sucks. Okay. Should I use Dragon Dance here? Because we can live one. For sure, I think unless he doesn't use Liquidation, we can live one. Let's try it. Let's just try it. Screw it. Even if we don't live one, after this is going to be Mobble Stiff. It's a dark type. We'll be good. Not even worry about Mobble Stiff, to be honest. Uh, Liquidation again. Okay, that's stupid as hell. Thank you for doing that, though, because I get off this freaking uh, Dragon Claw now. We had 78, that did 48, never mind. I was about to say, we can get another Dragon Dance off, but nah, never mind. All right, let's go ahead and go with Dragon Claw. And then next, Mambo Stiff is probably faster than uh, Cookie, so... No, we did use Dragon Dance, we might be faster. We just might be, I, I don't know, but if we are, I'm, I'm just gonna go with Glaive Rush, because we're gonna get we're, we're gonna get taken out now. So, might as well just use our Glaive Rush. Maybe we even take it out. Um, If we are faster, it's gonna... Fuck, I did not know it had Intimidate. That sucks. Um, all right, let's just go with Glaive Rush and screw it. Yeah, uh, he might be fast. Oh, wait, no, Terrestrializing. Terrestrializing always goes first. I don't know how I feel about that. I hate that, that he gets to go first to freaking Terrestrializing even though we might attack first. Like, I, I, I guess I get it, but it sucks. It sucks. Also, those little Terrestrializing dens are really freaking tiny. Like, how do we actually get into them? <laughs> Why can't they just make them like a real world, like real world size? Let's go. Oh my gosh, bypass the crit. Damn, so that means Cookie's attack is just strong no matter what, because bypassing the crit, but we also bypassed our own stat changes because with critical hits, it bypasses all stat changes. Um, that, That's pretty crazy, but yeah. Why couldn't they just make the little Terra things um, a lot bigger? All right, well, time to go do this man's freaking uh, crater thing. Dang, this is the strength of someone who could take down those tiny Pokemon, huh? <sighs> yeah, as, as much as I meant to hate it, I do think we're going to need some more support. What? The Pokemon in Area Zero are super strong, and there are all sorts of weird machines there, too. I say we need at least two more people. Somebody with champion rank level skills and somebody who can deal with crazy tech. Aw, man. So we're going to have to do the freaking... um. Penny, that crazy smart hacker girl who's the who's the big boss on our team start. How did you know that? Wait, hold on. Was this made public information? I mean, yeah, she'd be perfect for this job, but when you gonna make it friends with some with some shady character like her? Uh, I mean, to be fair, you're you're pretty shady as well. But well, we gotta do what we gotta do. Whoever think you to help, just try and get him in. Try try getting in good with them. We'll see if we can get a team together, get in touch. If you make progress, I'll do the same. Okay, so I'm assuming now we have to go talk to Penny about actually going here. Um. Ah, uh, so then we have to do the whole freaking, um, uh, the champion mission as well, which means we have to go through the Elite Four and everything. Okay, I mean, that's, that's not bad. Uh, let's go talk to Penny, because I'm assuming we do have to talk to her anyway. Um, I, I just thought about something. Where the hell would Penny be? I don't, oh, oh no. Oh no, Penny. Penny. Penny! Wait, I don't need this anymore. Remove, remove, remove this next. Can I? There, remove it. 
I'm gonna assume she's at freaking Naranja Academy. I, 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 I don't know where else she would be, to be honest. I, I have to assume she's here. Hopefully she's here, <laughs> cause if not, <laughs> uh, gotta go on a scavenger hunt. Also, all those swords, uh, I was running around and it's actually is a great transition from scavenger hunt. Um, I ended up taking like a bunch of screenshots of where, uh, where I think all of them are at. I don't know what the heck you get for it, but I'm gonna do it anyways just to see. Um, if anybody does see this episode, don't tell me what we get for it either. I didn't look it up because I just wanted to be surprised on what it actually is. I mean, if you do, I'm not gonna freaking like be all mad and all that stuff, but I would much rather just find it out on my own. Oh, great. Oh, don't tell me we have to go through all the freaking stupid areas. Are you serious? Oh, uh, you know what? I'm not gonna do this. Let's just go freaking take on uh, Nimona. Cause I'm, I'm assuming we have, to, we have to challenge Nimona. The biology lab, I did catch like um, over a hundred more Pokemon, but we only are probably gonna get Pokeballs and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm just, I, I'll wait until the freaking end of the game. That, that That's fine. I didn't even know if I was running the right way or not. <laughs> I, I didn't know where I was going actually. It's kind of lost there for a second. But all right, let's go take on Nimona. And then that'll give me time to go see, because uh, I'll look it up for next episode if we have to actually go, um, if we have to go find them or what. How do we, how do we actually get over there? I don't, do we just, I, I think we can leave like this? Gosh, the walking animations. Um, uh, I, uh, what the? What the heck just happened? I don't, I'm, I'm so confused. What the hell? What the, like what the hell? What the hell? What the hell does cave come from? Where, where did we just walk through? Is that how you get here? Is, is, wait. What the, what the hell? Where, where was this at? Has anybody just tried walking over here? Has, has anyone ever just said, hey, let me go to, let me go through this freaking cave real quick? This is so random. <laughs> I, I thought you would like go out to a path and then actually walk through a road. I thought this was gonna be Victory Road that we have to at least go through. I guess we're just gonna go battle Nimona. Uh, okay, no Victory Road. That's a low level Pokemon. What the, what the heck is it? Is this the right way? This this doesn't feel right. I mean, Nimona's up here, but this feels all wrong. What the heck? I'm, we didn't terrestrialize, but I, I don't know when the last time I, I, I used the freaking healing, I, uh, the the healing center. I don't know when the last time I, I it, it was I used the Pokemon center, there we go. Finally remember the freaking name of it. So might as well just use it now, just, just in case we, Oh, I thought it, was, thought it was crashing again. Oh my gosh, I have experienced some of the worst freaking, um, um, what's it called, uh, bugs ever. So there's a bug, when you go into Terra Raid battles, sometimes the Pokemon will be fainted, but won't actually be fainted. And I don't mean like you fainted and, and like it can still use the move afterwards. No, I, I fainted it, but it still showed that it had half a bar of health left. And it was able to start attacking my Pokemon and then like two turns later, then it fixed and then it fainted. I was like, what the heck is this? The final test, you must pass to become the champion. Uh, what? It's held here in this, oh, there's no victory road? Really? Damn, what happened to victory road? Aw, man. I missed the victory road. Victory road was lit. Are you ready to face the Pokemon League's champion assessment? Uh, cha champion assessment. Okay, I'm, I'm assuming we're just gonna be battling. Uh, yeah, we have eight gym battles. Very well. Interview room. What the? Wait, what? Wait, we're being interviewed? You have to be interviewed to take on a champion? Even Rika? What the? Rika, you have some really odd glasses. I would have, I would have like pictured you having box glasses. Thank you for coming today. Um. Please do have a seat. Uh, okay, Th this is this 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 is odd. But how do you? Oh, <laughs> it didn't tell me how to take a seat. I, Rika, will be your interviewer. 
Let's get started with the first portion of the champion assessment. We begin with the interview. Oh, oh, okay. First things first. Let's see. Let me see how many gym badges you have. You have excellent. You have all eight. Next, I like. To, next, I like to ask you a few questions if you wouldn't mind, Scarlet. Please think carefully, as you may automatically fail the interview depending on your answer. Wait, what? How did you get here today? I rode on my Pokemon. Um, very good, very good. Please tell me the name of the school you are enrolled in. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, if we had gone back to the school, I would've forgot the name of the academy. Naranja Academy. <laughs> are you awakening your demon form too, Rika? Did everybody get a demon form except me? Man, I want a demon form. Ah, oh, that's right. So, what brings you to the Pokemon to late today? Uh, just for fun, I guess. <laughs> I see. That concludes this interview. One of the staff will let you know the results. Thank you for, again for your time. Please, now, please excuse me. Um, do we, do we, what, what the, how'd that, wait, what? Do we fail? Wait, what the, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Can you actually fail these? I thought this was just like a BS interview. Sorry to keep you waiting, Scarlet. Now, regarding the results of the interview portion of your champion assessment, what? How did we not pass? Wait, what? <laughs> you can actually fail these stupid things? Are you, oh my gosh, are you serious? What part was the wrong answer though? Can, can you at least tell me what I failed in? Oh, great. <laughs> I don't even know what the hell I failed in. We should've came in with a new outfit. <laughs> be like, no, we're not Scarlet. This is a, 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 a Violet. I'm Violet. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is so stupid. Thank you for coming today. I'm uh, uh, back to your demon form, huh? Please do have a seat. R Rika, I was literally, I, I, w I just walked inside. I, I literally just left and came back inside. You, I, I know who you are. We've met. You just talked to me. First things first, let me see. You have eight gym badges, excellent. You have all eight. Next, I'd like to ask you a few questions if you wouldn't mind, Scarlet. Please take carefully as you, uh, okay. Okay, should I put walk this time? I, I I walked. Okay, very good, very good. Please tell me what's the name of the school you enrolled in. Naranja Academy, I know that one's freaking correct. Okay, okay, yeah, that's right, that's right. So what brings you to the Pokemon League today? Can it become champion? Is, 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 is that the correct answer? Yes, indeed. Why else would you be here, I suppose? Now, what do you what do you tend to do if and when you become champion? I wanna get even, I wanna become even stronger. I wanna find treasure, I wanna battle Nimona. What? I don't know which one the right answer is. I I want to become even stronger, I guess. I I don't I want to find that I want to find treasure. I don't I don't really Yeah, I want to become even stronger. I I I don't know. I see, interesting. Tell me, which of the eight gym badges gave you the most difficulty? None of them. Well, wait, I should say that back. No, none of them. <laughs> oh, crap. I don't know which one Grusha's gym was. Wait, hold on. Okay, so first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Wait. Glossado. Medallia, Glossado. It was the Glossado gym, right? Yeah, Glossado gym. I think. I see. And what was the name of the gym leader you faced? Oh, fuck. I don't know. Oh, wait, Grusha. I, <laughs> I hope I'm right. I don't remember the cities. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm glad you seem to remember. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness that face was worrying. But do you remember which type of Pokemon groups to use? Ice. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Should've put a wrong answer. Uh-oh. Oh, you're happy. Okay, good. Wonderful. I like your earrings. Building the skills needed for the champion assessment is no small feat. You must have met a lot of Pokemon to get here, Scarlet. Don't fucking tell me we need to meet all 400 Pokemon. What was the category of the Pokemon you chose to be your first partner? Oh, okay. Stupid fucking ugly duckling. <laughs> very good, very good. Now, please forgive me, but I want to repeat a previous question. Oh, great. Rami, what do you intend to do when, if you become champion, if and when you become champion? You mean when I become champion? I want to become even stronger. Why do you keep asking this? Oh, gosh. Please don't tell me I failed again. <laughs> please don't. Ah, oh, yes, that's right. Why did you ask me the same question again? That was stupid. Next is the final question for this interview. Oh. Oh, great. Do you like Pokemon Scarlet? 
<laughs> yeah. Dude, you know what? I would say no because I know it'd be a funny ass answer when we do the whole freaking interview. I'm not redoing this whole interview though. So yes, I'm giving him the giving her the answer that she wants. Yes. I'm not redoing this shit. <sighs> Hello? You, you, okay, there we go. <laughs> well, well, the long pause was making me worried. I'm not going to lie. Good job, kiddo. Th thank you. That wraps up the interview. And let me be the first to congratulate this car. Oh, thank goodness gracious. <laughs> oh, man. I was worried for a second. I thought the I walked was going to be the wrong answer. <laughs> thought it was about to be like, no, you have to actually freaking catch a flying taxi. Or, hey, you did have to actually ride on your Pokemon. But anyway, time to switch gears and get ready for the next segment. The second segment is what we call the Elite Test. And you'll be facing the Elite Four in Pokemon battles. Oh, uh, okay. I guess that's pretty obvious from the name of the test, right? N no, I mean, not not technically obvious. I thought it was going to be like a bunch of Gen 1ers trying to tell me about how Seal and Dugong are the best Pokemon of all time, and they don't look ordinary at all. <laughs> anyway, we're the best the league has to offer. You'll be facing four... You'll be, yeah, you'll be facing us four in a row, no turning back. This won't be a cakewalk, I promise you that. Make sure you're all ready, to, make sure you're all ready, then go into the room behind me. Oh, okay. So I just kick your guys' asses? All right, well, that sounds pretty freaking easy. All right, Rika, come on, step up, buddy. <laughs> I'm gonna kick your ass. I know you use dark types. I can already tell that. 